Increased carbon in the atmosphere warms the planet. Scientists estimate that humans cannot add more than one trillion tons, also known as a thousand gigatons, of carbon to the atmosphere to stay below two degrees of global warming. The basic understanding is that beyond two degrees of warming, humanity will no longer have the ability to control warming trends, in part due to the release of methane currently trapped beneath the Arctic permafrost. From the beginning of the Industrial Revolution, we've spent about 515 gigatons, leaving us with 485 gigatons of carbon left to emit before hitting that two-degree warming barrier. The first half of our budget was spent over the past 200 years to build the society in which we live today. However, due to a consistently increasingly carbon-intensive world, if current trends continue, the 485 gigatons left in the budget will be spent in as little as the next 30 years. Any use of what is left of our carbon budget that would increase our dependence on fossil fuels is akin to spending your last few dollars to cover the upfront cost of a payday loan. It may make everything look better for the time being, but when collection time rolls around, you've put yourself in a position where you are now at the mercy of external forces. And if you can't pay, Mother Nature just might break your kneecaps. This means we only have 30 years to completely phase out the widespread use of fossil fuels. Therefore, as we move forward, the central policy question must be how we can expedite the decarbonization of our world so as to avoid spending it all.